today our lesson is all about quadri the quadrilaterals or quadrilateral okay so a quadrilateral is a closed figure consisting of four line segments or sides these sides may or may not be a congruent and parallel okay so okay so here is an example of a quadrilateral it name as p q r s notice on the given figure okay the letter i've used is a capital letter okay so in naming the vertices of a quadrilateral use a capital letter and also it should be consecutive like for example we have here e q r s so this is named as quadrilateral p q r s okay so if you name a uh, so let's name this uh, quadrilateral 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 p q r s so you can also name this quadrilateral in this manner so we have q or quadrilateral q r s p or quadrilateral r s p q or you can name also as um, or, or you can name also as s p q r okay so i notice when i'm uh, what they call in naming the quadrilateral i okay so i followed the rule a while ago we have it should be con consecutive okay so we have p q r s or you can name as q r s p -E, or r s p -E q or we have s p -E q r that is how you name a quadrilateral not a, like for example here not like this which is wrong we have p r quadrilateral p r q q s or you can name us you can name us uh, what they call that q s p r which is wrong that is wrong way of naming a quadrilateral okay Okay, a quadrilateral have a characteristic of a properties. Okay, so here are the properties or characteristic of a quadrilateral. Okay, so a quadrilateral possess this kind of characteristic. Number one, we have a pairs, a four pairs of consecutive vertices. Two, pair, two pairs of opposite vertices, four pairs of consecutive sides, two pairs of opposite sides, four pairs of consecutive angles, and two, two pairs of opposite angles, and a pair of diagonals. So the quadrilateral, quadrilateral possess these characteristics. Okay, but now let's identify those characteristics on the given figure. Okay, let me put it down. Okay, so let's identify those four pairs of consecutive vertices. Okay, so the vertices here is on the given figure we have vertex P, vertex Q, vertex R, vertex S. So those are the vertices. Now let's identify the consecutive 
vertices, pair of con pairs of consecutive vertices. Okay, let's start with vertex. P is consecutive to vertex Q. Vertex P is consecutive to vertex Q. Another vertex Q and vertex R. So vertex Q is consecutive to vertex R. Next one, we have vertex R is consecutive to vertex S. Vertex R is consecutive to vertex S. Next one, we have vertex S is consecutive to vertex E. Okay, so we're already done with the four pairs of consecutive vertices. Now we're now moving to the opposite vertices. So now we're we're looking for the opposite vertices. So the opposite vertices are number one, we have first pair we have vertex P is opposite to vertex R. Vertex P opposite to vertex R. Next one, we have vertex S is opposite to vertex Q. Okay, can you follow? So we're already done with the vertices. Now we're moving to the sides. Okay, so the first uh, there are we're looking for the four pairs of consecutive sides. Okay, so the first one we have side PQ and side QR. Okay. Don't forget to use the symbol for line segment because it shows a line segment. So therefore, we will use as a symbol for line or a side as line or side PQ or line segment PQ. Can you follow? Okay, so let's have, so we have line PQ or side PQ is consecutive to side QR. Okay, next one. We have side QR is consecutive to side RS. Side RS. PQ of QR is consecutive to line RS. Can you follow? Next one, we have side RS is consecutive to side SP. Okay, so we have side RS is consecutive to side SP. Next one, we have the last one, we have side SP is consecutive to side PQ. Okay, so we're already done in naming the sides of or the consecutive sides of a quadrilateral PQR S. Okay, now we're now moving to the opposite side. So now looking for the opposite side. Okay, so first pair of opposite sides is side PQ. Remember the symbol. And side SR. Notice the way I've been named. PQ is opposite to side SR. PQ, SR, not RS. That is wrong. Okay, that should be PQ and SR. Can you follow? And the last one, we have the last pair. We have side PS and uh, opposite to side QR. So we have side PS. I start with the top. PS, then QR. Okay, can you follow? So we are already done with the two pairs of opposite sides. 
now we're now moving to angles so okay i'll put a figure here so that you can see okay so as you can see okay so we're looking for angles okay so the angle here is okay so the angle here is angle p angle q angle r and angle s now we're looking for the four pairs of consecutive angles so let's start with first pair we have angle p is consecutive to angle q then we have angle q and angle r okay so we have angle p and angle q then angle q then angle r next one we have angle r is conse uh, consecutive to angle s and angle s is consecutive to angle p okay so angle s is consecutive to angle p okay so those are the four pairs of consecutive angle so we're already done with angles of uh, consecutive angles now we're now moving to opposite angles so we're looking for the op two pairs of opposite angle so the opposite angle first pair we have angle p and angle r so angle p is opposite to angle r and angle s is opposite also to angle q so we have angle s is opposite to angle q so we already done with the angle so those are the opposite uh, for, uh, two pairs of opposite angles of quadrilateral p q r s now last one we have a pair of diagonal so a pair of diagonal so if we draw a diagonal in the given figure okay so there are two diagonals so those are the uh, a pair of diagonal so in okay as you can see the diagonal for okay so the, the as you can see the diagonal is a form of line so therefore we will use a symbol for line segment okay so the pair of diagonals are pair i should say the pair of diagonal is diagonal sq and diagonal pr so as you can see i use still the line segment as a symbol because in our figure it is a form of line segment so therefore i will use the line segment as symbol okay so so those are the okay properties of a quadrilateral pqrs okay for more videos on mathematics please don't forget to subscribe